Hey Cancer and welcome to your um, weekly love tarot readings. These messages are intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus Rising and to those cross watching. Now we are going to take a look at the, their biggest regrets. So as long as you hold a romantic interest in mind, a special person here, um, this shall apply to you. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what is their biggest regret. Okay, King of Wands, but it's come out upside down. Um, their biggest regret is that you didn't give them a chance here, Cancer. You walked away, you pulled away from this person here. You didn't get a chance to get to know this individual. You didn't get a chance to explore the connection here. You ended things with them here. And their biggest regret was that you didn't stick around. Or that they didn't stick around here. There was there was an instant uh, an instant connection here, an instant fire here, okay? Um, and what the two of you had, you could have fanned those flames. It could have been something very powerful, something very intense. But someone didn't stick around here. Okay, the world card. All right. They regret ending things with you, first and foremost, you Cancer. They regret ending things with you. But they feel as if you pushed them to do that. I don't know why I'm getting that. They feel as though you drove them to um, put things to an end. You drove them to end things here. This is powerful and this is intense. But I'm getting that... I'm, apologies for all that background noise. Um, I'm getting the message that this person regrets meeting you. Only because when they did meet you, I feel like they almost fell in love, he cancer. They still think about you. And that's why I, I feel like this person wishes that they hadn't met you because then they wouldn't have known about you and they wouldn't have, you know, they wouldn't be left wondering what could have happened between the two of you. Wow, this is someone who I feel like still has some bitter feelings here, the star card. Mm -hmm. This is someone who feels cancer that you were very, you were very different here. You were very different. You were someone, um, you weren't like the rest. You're unique. You were special to them. They had a special place in their heart for you. And they regret that, you know, you were able to just walk away or that you, you pushed them away. You drove them to pull away here. They feel it was destiny to, like it was destiny, the fact that your paths had crossed. Okay, they felt very strongly that the two of you were destined to meet. They feel even stronger that the two of you were destined to stay here. But their regret was that the two of you didn't get to know each other on a deeper level. Okay, everything was just surface level here. And that's their biggest regret, that neither of you gave each other a chance here. You didn't. Neither of you gave each other a chance. The King of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. This person still has strong feelings for you. Okay, this is someone whom, but they don't show it, or they don't say it, or they don't tell you, or you don't know it. Because they have, you know, um, the energy of the King of Cups, and you've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is someone who very much still believes in love and romance here. And this is someone whom, to me, it feels like this person has fallen in love with you. For some of you, I feel like this is someone whom you've met online, like on an online dating app or online dating um, site or on a social media platform where you're connected digitally here. Um, and right off the bat, there was just something different about you and your energy and what you brought to, you know, into this connection. This person, you know, was in love with you or was in the process of falling in love with you, but they never opened up. They never got the chance to tell you because I feel like they feel as though things ended before it began. So they regret not telling you how they truly feel. Because in hindsight, looking back at things now, they see that it could have possibly 
changed things. It could have possibly changed the outcome of this connection or it could have possibly changed a few things for you. They regret not opening up their heart to you. They regret not telling you that they love you or that they were falling in love with you or they regret not telling you that they like you here. They also regret not taking any action here. I feel like the person that you were dealing with here was a little bit shy and they regret not being a little bit more, you know, forward or direct or, um, you know, um, not dropping enough hints for you to sort of act on. They regret not taking the initiative. Because now it's like you're not there. There's so many things that this person could have said to you here and would have done for you here. They regret not bringing down emo their emotional armor for you. This is someone who is so heavily guarded with the Knight of Cups. Yes, they believe in love. Yes, they believe in romance. But you, they believe that in the once, you know, once in a lifetime kind of love, once in a lifetime kind of romance. That's what they wanted with you, Gensa. That's what they wanted to share with you. They regret not being open to you. They weren't hiding anything from you. I don't think they were keeping secrets or hiding anything from you. But it's like a don't ask, don't tell mentality that they have. There's someone who's so guarded and someone who's who plays his or her cards so close to their chest. Um, they've never truly opened up here emotionally to you. The Three of Wands in reverse. Um... Here's the thing, this person envisioned seeing a future with you. This person actually started including you in um, his or her future. They, you know, they saw you. They saw an image of settling down with you, having, you know, building a home or moving into your first home, having that white picket fence, going on to have children with you. They saw you fit in perfectly and effortlessly into their lives. And then everything just vanished like a puff of smoke it just dissipated into the air their visions their you know their plans here it all just disappeared their biggest regret was not sharing this with you because now it's like they've never fully opened up and you might have thought that you know this person maybe was crushing on you or they were interested in you but you don't really know how deep this rabbit hole goes you don't Two of Cups, exactly. They felt you were their soulmate. They felt you were their soulmate. They felt like the two of you were in alignment with each other. They regret not opening up. They regret not telling you that they love you. They regret not telling you that you're their best friend. That they see you in their future. That they want a life with you and no one. They want to share a life with you and no one else. They have such deep emotional regrets here. I don't know that this person has loved anyone or has felt sh as strongly for anyone as they do for you here. Something about you just felt right. I can't even explain it. I'm trying. I'm really trying to find the words just how deeply and emotionally this person feels. But something about you and the connection and something about their, the, the, you know, the readiness and their time, their point, um, their timing here. Something about it all just felt right. They regret that this didn't happen for them and, you know, for the two of you. They regret that you didn't see what they saw. For the two of you, they regret that you didn't end up together. They regret that, you know, here you are existing under the same sky, but you're not together. They wish you happiness, though. They wish you all the happiness in the world, even if it's not with them. All right, and that is all I have for you here. So I guess a very, you know, quite a, um, quite a sad um, message, heavy with regret here. Um, thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings later in the week, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.